at the asteroid Bennu. Yeah, so today is what we call a right precision flying regime that we'll be doing for the next year and a half or so in order to map and discover all we can about OSIRIS-REx and determine the best possible place to go get a sample of the asteroid and bring it back. A little nervous, a little excited. I mean, after this burn is completed, we're going to be a part. It's going to be the first U.S. mission to return a sample from an asteroid. And in fact, this is going to be the largest sample return since Bennu is about half a kilometer across, the size of a mountain. We're going to be mapping this entirely new, unexplored area of the solar system. So it's been a relatively long journey, as I mentioned, about two years to get out to this asteroid. So to give you a sense of a little bit of the mission timeline, OSIRIS-REx was launched on September 8, 2016. And one of the first things we did was we did a flyby of the Earth to boost us into the right orbit to encounter the asteroid. So you see that here. We were also able to test our cameras and take a wonderful picture of the Earth as well. Today we arrive at the asteroid and we begin a one and a half year program to scan and study the asteroid, eventually finding a location in the summer of 2020 to touch down and acquire the sample. The sample once acquired is going to be put into a canister and it's actually going to be returned to Earth. You see here TAGSAM putting the sample into this canister and then in the year 2023, September 24th, this will parachute through and actually land on the Utah desert.